let's have a look at the sequencer. And this is not just a sequencer, this is also an arpeggiator. And you can select either by clicking ARP or sequencer and you can turn it off as well. So let's start with the sequencer. We have 16 steps here and we can trim it down to anything between 1 and 16. Let's stay at 4. And when I play any, any note, I just, just go through all these steps and back again. So the rate I'm moving between those steps is set by the rate control here. And right now it's 116. And I can select to be synced to my DAW. I can select it to be synced to triplets or dotted, but also to BPM. And what this means is that I can actually change it as we go. And as you can see, like many other parameters here in pigments, you can modulate that. You can just click the plus and select, let's say, LFO1. And you can see how it works. Double click, back to default, clicking here. Let's move on. So the sequencer actually is very, very useful. We have the pitch, which means that I can set different notes here. And again, let's trim it back to four and set it to something more reasonable. Let's say 16th. But I can also lock it to a specific scale or mode. So I can just click your major and have a look. I will have all these steps just lock into the major scale. I can select harmonic minor and you'll see that it changes. I can select Dorian and again. Now, octave means what it means. This is just an octave. So I can select either minus two to plus two. <laughs> velocity means that I can change the velocity of the note played and it can be locked to whatever is set as my play. Uh, velocity, meaning when I hit a key, the velocity that I'm playing it. And let me slow down things here. So if this is going to be 100%, it means that we are locked to whatever velocity I'm playing. But if it's zero, then I'm locked to whatever I'm setting here. And I can change that, for example, like that. Next, we have trigger probability. And it means that we can randomize the probability of a note being played. So 100% means that this note will always be played. Zero means that this note will never be played. And anything in between is just the probability. Gate length means that we have uh, a gate and first of all, let's get rid of the probability here. We don't want that and have a look. I can set it to even 400 and what it means is that the note will be held on. Let's just reset that and we'll reset everything. Slide means that we're going to slide from note to note and 
let's take uh, uh, something exaggerated. And these are all the tracks that I have. Something very, very interesting that we have here is polyrhythm. And this means that I can uh, set different step numbers for each of the tracks. So I'm engaging the, the uh, polyrhythm here. And I can have the first four steps for the pitch. Uh, the, let's say just two for the octave and so on. So I'm just changing all these steps. And now when I'm playing something, so all these tracks are playing in their own cycles. But in order for me to make any sense of this mess, I can lock it to uh, whatever um, sequence um, region that I would like. So I can have it, um, for example, realign at uh, one bar. Right. Or two bars, four bars, eight bars, or never, which means that it will just continue to cycle on and on. And what we have other than that here is randomization. And this is really, really interesting. So you see this uh, uh, um, randomize icon here, and I can just s select that in any any of the um, any of the uh, percentage, and it can be either zero, nothing, or one hundred percent. And have a look what happens when I click when I click the regen. So. I'm getting just randomized options here, and this is really, really creative. What I also can do, I can do an auto regeneration, and I can say, okay, let's have regeneration every half a bar. So that's the sequencer, basically. Let's go and see what's going on with the arpeggiator. So the arpeggiator is pretty simple. Most of the stuff that we've covered is the same, except that arpeggiator means that I'm going to arpeggiate between notes of a chord. So if I just uh, play a sequence of, uh, you know, number of uh, notes at the same time, I think I should be going back to the defaults here. So I have different modes. I have the up, going up, as played, meaning that this, the, the notes will be played at the order that I'm pressing the keys. I have down, up and down, inclusive which means that the end notes and start notes will be played again and we have exclusive and we have random so this this is pretty much it so we covered the arpeggiator we covered the sequencer and next we'll be exploring other options here in the pigment synth. <laughs>